Right? Perhaps we said that's it on that. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Huh? It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's right. And on, that's starting with the elect. That's not all of Jacob. Jacob going to get the kingdom in the actual in the kingdom, but in a time of Jacob's trouble, all of Israel is not going to be saved. All so-called Negro, all so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're not going to be saved on this side, man. The Lord said He has a remnant. What? Oh, you done the Jacob trouble? All right. Yeah, we just talk about Jacob's trouble, right? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, bring up the This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. That's right. Woe to the world. Woe means destruction. So, it means, it's saying destruction to those of the world, man. What? For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. That's right. That's coming, man. The missiles, the missiles are coming. Because that's the main sword. And it's going, this devil's going to bring his martial law, his, his concentration camps, all of that, man. All he got that for you niggas, man. And you Latinos. Because you Latinos, to them are niggas too. You're not exempt from judgment, man. Just because you're a, little, a lighter hue, don't mean you ain't going to get judged, man. Like an Israelite going to get judged. Because you are Israelites along with us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We all one nation. What? And one people shall stand up to fight against another, uh -huh. and swords in their hands. That's right, war, man. So everybody talk about all love and uh, non-violent. That's against the scriptures. It said uh, sword against sword with war. We, people, America's at war right now with the whole damn world. What? For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, right. they shall not regard their kings nor princes. That's right, man. So soon enough, our people and the, the people in general, they're going to be marching down to, to go to uh, the White House, City Hall, their municipal buildings, police departments. And it's going to be all out chaos, man. And it's going to be the people that probably never punched nobody in the face, never did nothing violent, man. Being savages. That's right. That's that's why the Lord. That's why I said, "Woe well, to thee that desire the day of the Lord, man." Cause you ever know, you have a false idea of what it is. What? And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's right. So when when you see those um uh, city limits, like an I am legend. You have city limits. Can't go. Can't go. Uh, serve past a certain uh, miles into a city, or you'll get shot. It's gonna be like the America will be one big military base. But because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. That's right. And people are pride, man. Proud. Israel. All these other nations. Everybody, a bunch of proud motherfuckers, man. And proud of what? You ain't got shit. How you gonna be proud when anything you have can be taken from you, man? By the fucking devil, the so-called white man. That's your oppressor, man, not us. We out here oppressed with you. Telling you that America's gonna be destroyed is for your benefit. And people just look like, yo, Fuck, you know, I ain't just crazy, niggas. But go ahead. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, that's right. I, I worked so hard to build this house of mine. I worked so hard to build this house. But pick a fence. It said house is going to be destroyed. And not just little shacks, either mansions, apartment buildings, uh, properties. All, all is going to be destroyed, man. All of what you're seeing, man. Everybody you're seeing. For the most part, gonna be destroyed. Cause the Lord, the Lord warned of this. Warned of this. What? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, uh -huh. but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yeah. So good old Billy, that's your next door neighbor. Oh, go ahead. We're having a cookout. You bring the family on by. Billy, Billy ain't got no compassion on you, man. Ray Quan ain't got no compassion on you. 
Daquan ain't got no compassion on you, man. What? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Spoil your goods, man. So you're gonna take everything you've got, man. Shalom, my brothers. Shalom, my brothers. Listen, I got only one question for y'all. I want to ask y'all. I've been a little bit busy. I'm saying, 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 I'm
Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And that's gonna stop, and that's gonna be mainly the nuclear fire. The nuclear fire destined for this place right here in America. Those missiles that were shot over there in Syria, there's more missiles on, on deck going to be sent back to and fro. I think you get the, do you have something? Yeah. Is it on that? I know, I know. Bring it over. And then you bring it over. Is that, <clears throat> verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Yeah, that's right, so how is everybody going to be saved? We say you're going to punish the world for their iniquity. Starting with the house of Israel, because they're those sinners, and iniquity, and all the fucked up actions these heathens did. That they did to us. That's the real skinny of it, man. That's the real deal. Go ahead. God. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Yeah, the arrogancy, man. Starting with Esau, because he's ruling. He thinks he's going to be ruling forever. He's going to bring this man down. He's going to chop him down to size. In front of the world. This is gonna be world, this is gonna be the world news. These devils going down. And anybody being down with them, they're gonna go down with them. <laughs> what? And we'll lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Uh -huh. All right. Verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. That's right, everybody that's found. Everybody destined for that death, they're gonna be thrust through, man. That's the day of the Lord, man. No matter what your fucking pastor told you. Excuse my friends, excuse me. I know a lot of people are going to be going to church tomorrow and like, they're going to just be pacified. Right. And everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. Yeah, so if you want to be down with these so-called, hey, you got white friends? Well, you ain't going to go to slavery with them, but you sure will die with them. If you're an Israelite. Right. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. So, so what is going to do to children? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. So the Lord don't care that you're a little child, man. It's, it's harsh, but it's the truth. You just read it. Don't quote me. If you have questions, go to a Bible. Everybody got a Bible in their possession. This is Isaiah 13, right? Go to Isaiah 13 chapter. Around the what, 12 verse, I believe you at? Yeah, keep on. God. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. That's right, so their houses are going to be ran through and their wives ravaged. You know what ravaged means? Your wives are going to be taken. Your wives are going to be raped. That's right, rape is going to come back on high effects, man. That's what's going to happen. Don't get mad, the Lord said it. This is the day the Lord being described.